Uh, I'm making a list of which lights need to come down during strike tonight, and it is super tedious. Is this actually part of your job? Um, yeah, actu actually, yeah, this is. So don't cry, but I made some awards for y'all. I said don't cry. I just love you so much. If you're gonna be a big baby about this, you're not gonna get yours until the party tonight. Wait, did you make one for yourself? Yeah. Most allergic. Hey, congrats on a great show. I have to tell you, your dancing has grown so much in these past few weeks. Thank you, it's, it's been a pleasure to work with you. Okay, save the sappy stuff for later. You still have to sing. Oh, uh, hey, guys. Is it okay if I bring someone to the cast party tonight? Ooh, oh. Ben's got a hot date. I don't know, I, someone I met on the app, she's, she's gonna see the show tonight, so we'll see if she still wants to hang out after my performance. <laughs> Are you kidding? She's gonna love you. Okay, guys, we are at places. Thank you for the Hey, I got something for you. Oh. Oh. Get it? <laughs> oh, thank you. This is funny. Thank you, Chrissy. Okay. okay. Has anyone seen Vanessa? Mm -mm. After a season of highs and lows, twists and turns, loop de loops, and near fatal crashes, it is nice to be reminded. But we do all this in the first place. Absolutely not. Oh, come on! You're cute! Daddy, daddy, I'm the BS daddy. Uh oh, I spent all my money on this show. Tonight we will be having a Clunka Del Rio Alamani. Ready, guys? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 three. Oh, okay. Oh, Evan, oh, oh, no, no, don't do it! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that was adorable. So, none for you. Oh, hey. <laughs> nice. Can we, uh, can we grab two? Two cups over here. Two cups. <laughs> there you go. Cheers to uh, to a great show. Here, here. Here, here. Cheers. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Thanks for coming. Salud. Cheers, Salud. I'm gagged. Good. Gobsmacked. There's an outsider in our midst. We'll see how that goes. I'm so glad you got to see the show. That's so great. Yeah. Nice to meet you. So, what did you think of the show? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I'm really glad that Ben invited me. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad he invited you too, Tavia. I'm going to give this to him and tell him how I really feel about him. Chrissy, snap out of it. The man is a homosexual. What are labels anyway? Uh, no. <gasps> Chrissy, 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 no, 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 you're fine. So I ran all the way to the top of the mountain and I saw those wild horses running free below and that was the moment when I realized there was no other life for me but this. I feel exactly the same way. Follow the wild horses, Margo. Who knows, it, they may even bring you back here. <laughs> I'm just so embarrassed. You were right. How could I be so stupid? Oh, sweetie. Welcome to musical theater. We just we just had so much in common and, and it's so rare to find a connection with a guy like that, you know? And he was never creepy or made me feel uncomfortable. And that's so rare to find in a dude. A 
occupied. And I made myself vulnerable again. Oh, honey, you will find your person. How could you not? You're a catch. You really think so? Of course. As a matter of fact, I've been called adorable. One vodka soda as requested. Thank you. <laughs> it's so refreshing to be with such a gentleman. So, Ben, tell me about your process. Oh, gosh, process. Well, um, in, the, uh, in the American theater, you're often asked to play multiple roles. That I know I come across like I don't care about anybody but myself, but honestly, I am so grateful to have met you this summer. Guys, I really have to pee. We are having a moment. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, OK. Um, wait a minute. Give me your 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 Feeling better? Oh, uh, there aren't enough bathrooms in this house. <laughs> oh, musical theater, am I right? They're a completely different breed. One sings, they all sing. Vape. You don't have to ask me twice. So what have you got lined up for the fall? I've secured a week-long residency downtown. It's a blank canvas, just trying to figure out what to do with it. Danny in the deep blue sea. What? Danny and the Deep Blue Sea. I've always wanted to do it. A character study in alienation. And the redemptive power of love. Two people, one fateful night. Forgiveness painfully achieved. And, and just, just two, two actors. actors. You are an excellent sparring partner, sir. As are you, my lady. Don't worry, I'm off the clock. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not worried. You deserve it. But it is way past my bedtime. If I stay any longer, I'm going to be singing Phantom of the Opera with Evan in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> so long, farewell, Auf Wiedersehen, goodbye, goodbye, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> says that the musical next year is Sound of Music. Oh, no. The slopes all cry out in melodic harmony. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think you're going to come back here next year? I guess I'll have to see where the wild horses take me. What? I'm standing at the top of the mountain, and the view has never looked better. Is that Shakespeare? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Chrissy, we never filmed our Swan Lake. I'll go get my phone. Evan, I'm gonna miss you so much. Stop. We both live in Harlem. <laughs> so, Bob Fosse, huh? Too much? Oh, don't worry. I don't think Ted actually read your resume. <laughs> How long have you known? Since the beginning. Uh, no one's skincare regime is that good. Trust me, I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, hey, when you're good, age doesn't matter. Thanks, Linda. Everyone follow us! Jessica says a live audience is gonna be more dynamic. This has been one of the greatest summers of my life. Hey, it's not past your bedtime, old man. Suddenly I'm feeling awfully young. <laughs> So that's it. Another season come and gone. The costumes have been laundered, the lights unplugged, and the actors shipped off on the bus. You know, there's a kind of magic here that you don't get anywhere else. People always ask me, why don't you move to New York City? You know, take on the big time, direct the big stuff. Well, I tried. For a long time I did. And New York didn't want me. 
and I thought everything was over. And then I get this theater, and I look down on it. It's in the middle of nowhere. No one can hear you fail out there. Why even try? And then I directed a production of Antigone. And the looks on these people's faces, we moved people. We did something good. Now, I'm not saying that the big time stuff isn't important. But here on the ground, on the front lines, that's where the magic happens. So, after a very, very long night's rest, you can find me here, you know, planning for next season. Because there's always going to be a next season. Ever changing, ever growing, ever dreaming. This is BS. hours in the car just to see the stars in a place they shouldn't be and watch the moon make history